Welcome again. In this video, I'll be explaining the confusion matrix for multiple classes, how to build it and how to interpret it. In the past previous videos, I explained the confusion matrix and how to extract several uh, uh, metrics from it for uh, two classes for uh, just a binary classification problem. So the contents of this video will be based on those two videos and on lecture notes by uh, Professor Ravi Mukamala from Old Dominion University and you can find that to, uh, material uh, at this link here. Now let's assume that we have a five class problem with the classes A, B, C, D and E and then we run our model and we, uh, we end up with this confusion matrix. Notice now that our predicted classes are the columns and our uh, actual classes are, are the rows and uh, as you know these will be counts so these will be integer numbers, numbers of uh, uh, classifications or misclassifications and you must have guessed by now that the diagonal value will be the true positive of the uh, 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 of the corresponding class or, or of the concerned class or, or of the considered class and the off diagonal values be, will be the errors. So this value for example here is true positive for A actually A classified as A, this one is true positive for B actually B and classified as B and so on and so forth this one will be uh, actually A but classified as B actually A classified as C actually B classified as C and then this one will be actually C classified as B and so on and so forth. Now regarding the counting, if you remember from before, we are interested in four counts. We are interested in the number of true positives, which is here nice and easy, just the, value, the values in the diagonal. We are interested is in true positive, false positives, number of uh, true negatives and the number of the false negatives. How do we find those? The true positive is nice and easy, they are diagonal values. And now, one thing uh, I'd like to mention before that is that if we want to work out the number of ex test examples for any class, then we can just sum the row of corresponding to that class. So if we want the number of test uh, examples corresponding uh, or that belong to class C, we just sum the row the, the row that corresponds to class C. And that will have the true positive of class C and the false negatives of that class. Now, the total number of false negatives for a class is the sum of values in the corresponding row without the true positive of that class. If we want the number of false negatives for class D, for example, we sum the values in the, in the row corresponding to class D without the value of the true positive. The number of false positives for a class is the sum of values in the corresponding column without the true positive. So if I want to have the number of false positives of class C or E, let's say it's class C, then we sum the values in the corresponding column to class C, so that we sum the values in column C without the true the value of the true positives of class C, i.e. without the value of the diagonal. So if you see that uh, uh, represented as the sigma sign, you sum from i to j for example, or anything like from 0 to or from 1 to j, then you will, that will be excluding this value here. And the total number of true negatives for a certain class will be the sum of all columns and rows. So the sum of everything except the values in the row and column corresponding to that class. So if I want the number of true negatives, for example, for class E, then I exclude column E and row E and then sum everything else. Likewise, if I want for class D, then I exclude column D and row D and then sum everything else. I hope that makes sense. So that's how we work out the four values, the number of true positives, false negatives, false positives, and true negatives. From there, we can now start computing the metrics. The accuracy, which, which is um, um, calculated as the sum of the correct classifications divided by the total number of classifications. The sum of correct classifications obviously will be the sum of the diagonal, the sum of the true po all the true positives, and the number, the total number of classifications is, is just the sum of everything, the sum of the counts of everything. That's the accuracy. The and as we know, the accuracy is the uh, sort of overall correctness, correct, correctness of the model. The precision, which is the measure of the accuracy, provided that a specific class has been predicted. 
is calculated as the number of true positives over the number of true positives plus the number of false positives for that for a certain class so the false positive if you remember from the previous slide is the sum of values in the corresponding column excluding the true positive of that class so if we want to compute the precision for class a for example uh, if you remember from our confusion matrix then it's the number of true positives for class a which is the value in the diagonal for class a divided by the number of true positives of class a plus the error uh, when uh, class b was classified as a plus error when class c was classified as a plus error when class d classified as a, cl as a plus error when class, when class e was classified as a so those are the number of false positives for class a likewise for class b we just compute it in the in a similar way the most important thing here is to know what the what the what the columns and the rows represent and how to uh, compute the values of true positives and false positives so these points here are very very important to understand and bear in mind so that's the accuracy and precision after that the recall which is a measure of the ability of a prediction model to select instances for a certain class from a data set and recall is also uh, commonly known as the sensitivity and it also known as the true positive rate so if you hear the word recall sensitivity or the true positive rate then they are the same thing and it's it's um, it's calculated as the number of true positives divided by the number of true positives plus the number of false negatives so the true positives and false negatives is the total number of test examples of the course of the considered class which means that's all the values of the row so what I, if I if we say we want to compute the recall for class B or the sensitivity of class B then we say it's the true positive for class B which is the value in the diagonal for class B um, divided by the total sum of the row which is um, which is the number of false negatives plus the number of true positive if you remember we mentioned before that if we want um, if we want the number of false uh, um, um, negatives then it's the um, the sum of values in the corresponding row and we know from here that we have the true positive and the false negative so that sum is the sum of the total number of classes that be, or the total number of test examples that belong to class B which is the sum of the row I hope I'm not confusing you I hope things make sense here the third value that we want to compute is the specific specificity which is sort of um, related to the recall or sensitivity specificity is a measure that's commonly used in two class problems um, but we can compute it here as well by the way it also uh, it's also known as the true negative rate or it corresponds to the true negative rate of the uh, considered class and it's calculated as the number of true negatives over the number of true negatives plus the number of false positives the number of true negatives we mentioned this before for a certain class is the sum of all columns and rows excluding that class's column and row and the number of false positives is the sum of values in the corresponding column excluding the true positive of that uh, class so if I want to compute the specific specificity of class B then it's the number of true negatives of class B divided by the number of true negatives of class B uh, plus the sum of the values in the corresponding column excluding the true positive of class B now if you find this idea of finding the number of true negatives for a certain class confusing then, then let's take a simple example we, we have seen this confusion matrix before but let's say we want to compute the number of true negatives for class B then what we do is we just sort of cover column B and row B remember now that values in columns correspond to predicted and values in rows co correspond to actual classes so we cover row A and column B I'm sorry we cover row B and column B and sum everything else that would be the number of true negatives for class B I hope that makes sense I know it's nice and easy it can be confusing but if you just um, if you just understand these points 
I keep repeating myself if you just understand these points then it should become quite easy for you now let's have a look at a simple example let's say and um, we have this confusion matrix three rows and three columns with three classes then if I want to compute the overall accuracy then it's the sum of the true positives or the sum of the values in the diagonal divided by the sum of every thing if I want precision for class A then the number of true positives for class A divided by the um, <coughs> divided by the uh, let's remember where is where is the equation here yeah, sorry precision for class A yeah the number of true positives for class A plus uh, divided by the number of true positives for class A plus uh, um, the values in in the column A so let's have a look there I think that's just done twice so this should be 25 over 25 plus 3 plus 1 the recall or sensitivity for class B would be the number of true positives for class B divided by the number of true positives of class B plus um, plus the number of false negatives which are the values in the um, <coughs> in the row so here would be 32 which is true positive for class B divided by 32 plus 3 plus 4 so the number the total number of values in the row which is which corresponds to the number total number of test examples belonging to class B and then the specificity of class C uh, as we mentioned before it's the number of true negatives for class C so what we do is we cancel this row uh, this column and this row we sum up everything over um, the number of true negatives for the same class plus the values in the column for that class excluding the true positive so again we ca we, ca we, ca we cancel c the column C and row C we sum the values again and then we sum the column of class C without the value of the true positive of class C and that should be the specificity of class C I hope that makes sense so we've seen how to compute the accuracy and precision we've seen how to compute the recall and we've seen how to compute the specificity the specificity is quite interesting because for two class problems if one wants to really analyze and look, ha, take a careful look at these equations then we can see that um, if we take for example one class let's say we want to convert this problem into a two class problem for example class B and everything else can, can be considered as not class B by the way my next video will be will be on this then we can see that um, the specificity of one class is the same as the sensitivity, sensitivity or the recall of the other class as we mentioned if we have class B and not class B everything else is not B then we can find that the specificity of class B is the same as the sensitive sensitivity of not class B or the opposite class anyway I will have my next video on explaining how to convert or how to transform an M by M confusion matrix to a 2 by 2 confusion matrix I hope everything makes sense here Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.